This week on Storyboard, we find out what is the thought that goes behind packaging the celebrations pack of Mondelez, which is popular during Rakhi as we speak to Anil Vishwanathan, Director Marketing Chocolates Mondelez India and Abhishek Aluwalia, e-commerce lead Mondelez India. We also catch up with Ben Richards, Worldwide Chief Strategy Officer Ogilvy, who is visiting India this week along with Prem Narayan, Chief Strategy Officer Ogilvy India. And on this week's notice board, we have the new campaign by Yes Bank. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. This is Shibani Gharat. This weekend, we are celebrating Raksha Bandhan across the country. And Mondelez, which is celebrating 70th year for its brand Dairy Milk in India, is leaving no stone unturned to make the most out of this occasion. Just like every year, the brand has launched a TVC around Rakhi, in which they are also communicating their new brand platform, Kuch Acha Ho Jai, Kuch Meetha Ho Jai. But along with that, there is a twist in the tale as far as celebrations package is concerned. We caught up with Anil Vishwanathan, Director Marketing Chocolates, Mondelez India and Abhishek Aluwalia, e-commerce lead, Mondelez India to find out what is the thought that goes behind creating the celebrations pack which are specially designed for the grand Indian festive season. Let's take a look. Jaldi, Rakhi. Oli. जल्दी राखी बन बन दे यार प्लीज सुबह सुबह जाके ग्राउंड खोलता है क्या लव यू ब्रो लव यू ब्रो लव यू ब्रो लव यू ब्रो पापा इसका गिफ्ट दो ना पापा एक मिनट इसके लिए पैसे कहां से आए थे मेरे पास पर उससे तो तू अपना बैट लेने वाला था ना पुराने बैट में 300 सेंचुरी बाकी है चले बस हो जा इस राखी कुछ अच्छा हो जाए कुछ मीठा हो जाए कैडबरी सेलिब्रेशन फेस्टिव सीजन इज हियर एंड वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग रक्षा बंधन दिस वीक एंड अ ब्रांड दैट हैज ओन दिस फेस्टिवल और दिस डे फॉर मेनी इयर्स लेट्स से इवन डेकेड्स एंड वी आर राइट हियर इन द मिडल ऑफ ऑल द एक्शन एट मॉन्डलीज ऑफिस एंड विथ मी इज अनिल विश्वनाथन एंड अभिषेक अलुवालिया बोथ ऑफ यू वेलकम टू स्टोरी बोर्ड Thanks for having us, Shubhani. Uh, as I said, you guys have owned Raksha Bandhan for so many years. Uh, you know, I must uh, begin uh, this uh, interaction by sharing an anecdote. Every year, whenever I used to get that box of celebrations on Raksha Bandhan, I used to be elated, like really delighted to see that box full of chocolates. There was something about its packaging that was enticing. So we'll get on to marketing around Raksha Bandhan, but I first want to understand from you guys what is the thought that goes behind packaging a pack of celebrations for the festive season. So Shivani, I think uh, uh, as you rightly said, uh, we've been uh, growing gifting uh, in the festivals for a very long time. Not only chocolates, but package gifting, uh, and it's been part of our you know long journey of category leadership. Uh, we figured out that uh, you know. Growing in gifting and growing in the festivals is definitely a way of getting into people's homes. And for us to get into people's homes, you know, underlying that was our core strategy of chasing mitha mm. uh, and, you know, the traditional sweets and positioning chocolates as a modern alternative to traditional sweets. So as part of that strategy, we realized that a large amount of sweet consumption and gifting, of course, happens during festivals. Mm. And then the idea was to take inspiration from them. So, you, you know, really the mithai box that used to come home was the original inspiration. And the whole spin was to, you know, bring in the, the heritage of our brands, the brand colors, the brand, uh, uh, you know, livery and, uh, uh, and you know, present the mithai box in a contemporary way. Uh, you know, I remember getting that first box of celebrations and, uh, you know, it was something else as what compared to what I see it up in stores today. Uh, how has been the evolution so far and what has really changed in the whole packaging? We've tried to modernize it. We've tried to ensure that we provide uh, assortment to people across price points, across different mix of products because we have a wide bundle to offer, right? Mm. So, so that, you know, we, we are offering all kinds of price points mm. and we know that different people mm. give differently depending on whom they're gifting to. Mm. So there's a gifter and a giftee. Uh, and we just ensure that we've, you know, we've segmented the market. So if you were to give to uh, you know, your inner circle, you, you possibly choose something that's a bit more special. Mm. So we have things like pralines and our silk gift bags which are customized for that. 
and then you want to you know gift uh, in a in a in a wider to your outer circle you mm. maybe your business colleagues or social friends you have your assortment packs so really having the right pack for you to choose from depending on who we want to gift to mm. has been one clear you know kind mm. of anchor the other big anchor of course has been the occasion mm. so we customize for rakhi we customize for valentines day mm. we customize for uh, diwali so that mm. mean that's been the way we've tried to you know staying contemporary to that occasion is also very important because mm. the consumer looks for that kind of a hook abhishek uh, last year you added uh, the e-commerce twist to the whole celebration story right. how has that worked so far and this year you are in fact personalizing the whole right. offering so uh, tell us what made you personalize uh, celebration so um, uh, you know one of our uh, uh, key strategies is to uh, win in single market uh, single item uh, destinations which is marketplaces um, which is suitable for gifted right uh, in given the fact that we have leadership in chocolate category uh, you know and chocolates you know we the way we are looking at gifting is is essentially price point so anything which is sub 1000 rupees is you know whether it is mithai whether it is you know uh even flowers for that matter is mm. is 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 gifting right uh we launched on uh, last year with a partner with amazon and and set up a chocolate and sweet store mm. uh which was first of its kind which uh, did exceptionally well we uh, we traded uh, uh uh you know uh conventional gift packs mass customized gift packs suitable to an occasion and this year we've really taken the bar higher by bringing personalization element which is available on our website cadbrygifting.in where essentially a gifter can personalize uh, by writing a message uploading a picture uh, you know uh, adding a merchandise also mm. which is possible and you know and delivering it to the uh, to the giftee so uh, you know the uh, and and again the the as what anil also mentioned it's it's basically bang on to the occasion so the props we add uh the uh, digitally aug uh, augmentation uh, digital augmentation which we do is basis that particular occasion it fits 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 in mm. very well also with personalization i wanted to ask and understand is uh, you get a lot of consumer insights on what really consumer is uploading what is the message right. what is uh, uh, what is the consumer need yeah. uh, can you share those insights with us two insights that come to mind you typically think that the only gift that happens during rakhi is from the brother to the sister what you what we don't know is actually there's also a gift that comes from the sister to the brother and the reverse gifting is as big you know you might recall to some stage that you would have bought for your brother so that's one of the things we activated so there's a gift and there's a return gift as well mm. simple insight that you know kind of in uh, unlock the second simple unlock is anybody could give a gift but the most fundamental part of uh, the gift is the emotion that's involved involved in the gifting and that emotion is where you know we are stronger than anybody else we are unbeatable there and personalization just adds that level of emotion what are the communication channels that you are using for this so, so for personalization it is digital uh we uh, because that's where the audience is you know uh, uh moving and it's very seamless right so you're on facebook you're scrolling and suddenly there is raksha bandhan there is an ad which reminds that raksha bandhan is on the corner do you want to you know personalize uh you know cadbury gift hamper to your sibling right bang on you click you get redirected to uh, to a website you personalize and and done right mm. uh so i think it's digital first in this particular initiative so you would have your likes of facebook instagram uh where we are advertising um and we see seeing good traction um you know and the campaign just went a uh, uh, digital campaign went just uh, up about a couple of weeks back and i think mm. it's it's doing really well okay so moving on from raksha bandhan a very promising festive season is staring at us so what are your plans for the festive season and what are the campaigns that we'll see around uh, the festive season i'll take a step back to say that the festive season is also kind of uh, linked with uh, uh, a strategic change that we're making on our mothership brand uh, uh, flagship brand which is uh, cadbury dairy milk mm -hmm. and this year we began on a on a journey it's a global journey and the global journey is towards a new proposition called generosity festivals is the time that uh, we'd love to be most generous yeah. so there's a natural link from cadbury dairy milk into cadbury celebration so what you're seeing this year is again a fundamental switch of saying we we're seeing almost seeing a single campaign Hmm. which is all under the you know umbrella of kuch acha ho jaye kuch meetha ho jaye all right thank you so much and all the best for the festive season thank Thanks you for having us it is time for us to take a short break on the other side of this break we catch up with ben richards worldwide chief strategy officer ogilvy along with prem narayan chief strategy officer ogilvy india